Hello everybody. Uh, quick video this morning. I uh, wanted to kind of uh, talk a little bit about some of what we're doing uh, to make a living now here on the homestead. Uh, one of the big things we do is uh, we're buying and, and reselling. Uh, we're making a lot of garage sales, estate sales, uh, auctions, this, that, and the other. And a uh, uh, big part of what I look for is not really to resell, but to replace. Uh, anytime I find vintage uh, uh, made in the USA, uh, antique tools, you know, things that I can fix or, or possibly uh, uh, just put a little bit of time in and uh, replace something that I may have in my shop that uh, is uh, terrible quality. Uh, that's made uh, overseas or, or what, whatever. Uh, uh, these are two finds that I found here recently that I wanted to kind of share with you guys. Uh, I found these at a, uh, uh, this here I found at an antique store that we visited uh, uh, last week. Uh, and these I found at a yard sale. I haven't done any research on this to date it or anything like that. Uh, it is made in the USA. Uh, still in its original packaging, uh, which I thought was cool. Uh, when this came out, actually, I think on there it says only 60 cents. <laughs> uh, but it's got a nice wood handle on it, uh, made in the USA. Uh, it's basically a razor knife, uh, anything that you'd use a, a razor knife for cutting, uh, any kind of uh, carpeting, I guess, anything like that, opening packages, whatever. Uh, this is going to be a real nice uh, addition to my shop. Uh, I like it. I just like the feel of it. I hadn't even taken it out of the package yet. <laughs> I just like looking at it like that. But uh, but this is going to be kind of neat. Uh, I paid a, a dollar for this in an antique store. Can you imagine that? Uh, we do find a lot of bargains uh, uh, sifting through uh, antique stores, things that we can bring back here to our town and resell and uh, make a modest profit on. We're not trying to kill anybody. Uh, but it generates income for our homestead. And these here are some small woodworking tools. Uh, they're made by Miller's Falls. Uh, I believe the research I've done, this company was uh, founded in Massachusetts in the 1800s. Uh, recently, I think in the 80s, they moved to New Jersey, I think, uh, if my research is correct. Uh, they do not have a USA stamped on them. Uh, the research I've done online, uh, as far as I can tell, they are made in the USA. It seems uh, from what I've uh, kind of just looked at so far, I haven't cleaned these up, haven't sharpened them yet, but it seems like the steel is a quality steel and uh, the wood handles are in really good shape. I'm gonna clean these up, add them to my woodworking tools. I do a lot of uh, woodworking. Uh, we've uh, uh, do some furniture building, this, that, and other for our, uh, for our store here in town. Uh, these are gonna be a nice addition as well to uh, to uh, my collection here uh, and uh, I really enjoy finding this stuff. I paid a quarter a piece for these so I've got a dollar twenty-five in what you see here. Uh, from what I can tell looking at research I've done online this was originally a, a set and it may be missing one or two uh, but uh, but I think I can I can utilize these in my collection. Like I say this was going to be just a quick update. wanted to kind of share uh, those two finds with you and uh, uh, definitely don't all own exclusively uh, vintage made in the USA tools. Uh, uh, definitely that is my goal is to uh, eventually replace everything I can. There's some modern tools uh, uh, that I use uh, uh, just to make I guess life easier when you're building stuff uh, uh, that as I have the time and the money I can I can replace them with uh, uh, modern tools that are made here in the USA, which are which are quite pricey, but the but the quality uh, uh, can't be uh, can't be replaced there. But anyways, guys, I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed this update, and uh, I'll be doing more updates like this. Uh, if, you, if you don't care, I guess uh, I don't want to see updates like this. Just let me know. Uh, uh, but it's as part of a homestead as putting seed in the ground to me. Uh, as you can see there on the workbench, uh, my shop's just not for building things. I've got some some seeds starting on some uh, heat mats in here. Uh, got pretty cool last night, so I pulled these in and and uh, been keeping them on the heat mats to get that germination off to a good start. 
Uh, anyways, uh, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you all later.